Hi, I'm Angie and here I am in my new workshop. As promised, I'm going to give you a quick overview tour of the new workshop and the built-in cabinets and the way that I store my scrapbooking and stamping supply. I'm standing in sort of the TV living room area and this little L-shaped part of the room is my crafting area and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. So let's zoom in a little bit and I'll show you the way I store all my supplies. So as I come down the stairs to my basement, you can see that this is the view that you get from the room. It's kind of on an angle here at the bottom of the stairs and the cabinetry starts right in the corner of the room. So I'm going to start with the upper level of this area and the first thing I designed were these five drawers here and a cabinet at the top. So in each of these drawers are where I store my punches. Mostly these are stamping up and creative memory punches. So in the bottom drawer are the ones that I'm going to use the most. And then from then on, the ones that I use least often are at the very top because I get a better view of what's in here. So I started out with my circles in this drawer. And then I have my tags and punches that work with different shapes of stamps. Here I've got my ovals squares and scallops, and then at the top I have stars and hearts and flowers. You can see them a little bit better there. In the upper cabinet I just keep some overflow items and some refills. So on my actual work surface here I have lots of space to lay out the album that I'm working on, and I keep a little organizer there for my iPod and my reading glasses, my pens, things that I'm working on like photos. And then I have my expression there with a trimmer and my gypsy all plugged in and ready to go right by the photos that I'm working on. And then I have a nice big twirly organizer in the corner which holds everything I'm going to need to grab like my adhesives and small punches, corner rounders, plugs, that sort of thing. In the upper open shelves are where I keep things that I will frequently need while I'm working. So from left to right at the top are my supplies, my scrapbooking albums and refill pages, albums that I'm working on. And the lower shelf has all my Cricut cartridges. In the middle section at the top are just some rub-ons and decals and things. The middle shelf is all for embossing powders. And then the bottom shelf has my Cuddlebug folders and dies, my ribbons, my embellishments and then a little container that has some extra embossing stuff and my heat tool. And then on this shelf at the top I've got my P-Touch labeler, my puzzle maker, a little light, light desk and in the middle are little storage containers that hold staples and threads, flowers, embellishments, brads, extra adhesive and that kind of thing. And then on the bottom are my pens, my Xyron sticker maker and photos that I'm currently working on. Now this unit here was designed as a movable island that I can wheel out and use for overflow when I'm working. I really like to spread out when I work so I can put my album there and then work on the separate pages just right in the middle. And I've got a little ladder there that I can pull out with my toe and reach the higher shelves above. So it just always stays there. I like to stand while I work so I don't need a chair. So it's great that I can have that little spot just to put the ladder. In this section is where I keep my baby bug. And what's really nice is that I have a, a plug behind so I can keep the baby bug plugged in. And I can just pull out the drawer and use the baby bug without actually even having to lift it out or take it out because there's plenty of room in there for the mat to go back and forth. And I design that shelf exclusively for my baby bug. In the middle of the stable shelf is where I keep all my extra Cricut mats, my little personal trimmer, and pages that I've completed but have not yet put into my albums. The bottom pullout drawer is where I keep all my creative memories cutting system, so that's the custom cutting system, the 12 inch trimmers, and the new creative cut system, which is the movable blade and templates. Then in this corner of the room is where I keep the mat that I would use the custom cutting system on and my large trimmer and of course my Dream Cuts cutter. So it's kind of my scrapbooking center 
and cutting center. This is the way that I would pull out the movable island and use it as an extra work surface while I'm working. This left side of the room is my stamping center and where I keep all my Stampin' Up! supplies and everything that I'm going to use to make cards. In the upper cabinet is where I keep all my stamps. So I've organized it with the most used stamps, uh, like phrases and circles and punches at the bottom. And then I go up from there and holidays are at the top. I can just pull over my stool if I need to reach those upper ones. On the work surface, I like to keep my grid paper and my Stampin' mist and scrub and pad accessible because I do use those all the time and I also have my little distress at all my trimmer and score blade and my Martha Stewart scoreboard so I like to keep all those things right at hand and there is an outlet and a light so I can plug in the distress at all if I want to use that or my heat tool if I want to do some embossing in this little cubby right below the stamping area is where I keep all my eight and a half by 11 Stampin' Up! paper and below that are my envelopes and a container with all my scraps of ivory, white and mm. black paper. In the cabinet below is where I keep my excess stamps, my large 12 by 12 Stampin' Up! paper, designer paper and cardstock, my Stampin' wheel, sponges, that kind of thing. So anything that relates to stamping is in this area and it's very easy for me to grab it right there and stamp right above it. On the wall here is where I keep my organizer from Michaels and it's really nice because it's got all the sections so it keeps my ink nice and tidy and my ribbon so I still wanted to use that even though I have my built-in cabinets I have some other punches there and a few other things my pens anything that I would use for making cards on my little open shelves here I have my cuddle bug so I can easily pull that down and use it. I could leave it out all the time but I kind of wanted to leave this area open for sewing and stitching. My machine is there and I do have an outlet underneath for that and a chair obviously. So if I need to do any journaling or writing I can do it at this spot. In these two little drawers all I have are in the bottom some instruction manuals and a ribbon straightener and an iron and the top drawer is actually empty because you should always have room to grow. In this little corner cupboard tucked in the end are just some older supplies. And that brings me back to this corner here. And in the very corner cupboard, which is very deep and goes right to the back of the corner of the room, so it's kind of hidden space in there, I've got empty boxes that I don't want to throw out, like for my Gypsy and my Cricut. And I also store all my scrapbooking paper, my Creative Memories paper. I like to keep those in the Creative Memories folders and that's where I keep all my power palettes and extra paper and at the bottom is just a little organizer that fits in there perfectly. So there's a lot of storage hidden behind there for things that I'm not going to be using all the time. This extra drawer is where I keep all my border punches and my paper crimper. So anything that's really long and difficult to store and it won't fit into my little drawers that's where I keep it. It's right in the middle because I use these tools both for scrapbooking and stamping. So in this cupboard is where I keep anything to do with binding. So I have my cinch, I have my two binded it alls in the back, and my Your Story Photo Plus All, chipboard, cardboard, that kind of thing. And on the lower level I have all the wires and instruction manuals. I also have my little quick cut squeeze there. So that's my new scrapbook room. It's not completely finished yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keeping most everything where it is. It seems to be working well and it seems to be organized in a way that makes sense for me. I'm really happy with the way it turned out and it's kind of been a dream of mine to have a coordinated, built-in, committed scrap room like this. So thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed having a tour of my new workshop.